that when I do leave this place, it'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, what? Oh, I'm, I'm like I'm back home. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up, world? Back with another one. Today might be a little controversial. We're gonna talk about God and if I believe in God and my opinions and thoughts surrounding God. Uh, this is gonna be the first installment of sort of a series I'm gonna keep doing here. Uh, I asked you guys for topics for me to elaborate on and share my views and opinions. I'd like to do one a week for sure. So uh, you guys hit me up in the comments with like hella topics already. So that's gonna keep me busy for a long, long time. But one that was consistent across the board was God. It was quite uh, quite up there and also aliens so those are cool too we'll talk about those eventually um, so today is a little uh, more healthy sort of deal I've been going hard in the taint lately on this channel a lot of carbs a lot of cheese a lot of things like that not a whole lot of veggies so uh, I wanted to get myself a nice big fresh salad as you can see here I couldn't resist the uh, little crunchy bits that came in it, but for the most part, we're going low carb. And then we have, of course, just the uh, chicken drumsticks to also keep it low carb and uh, just have like a more of like a little healthier one, low calorie, low carb, but still delicious. I love, love salad. Like salad's actually really one of my favorite things ever. And then of course, like guys, you can't like, can't go wrong with crispy hoodie chicken drums those are just as bomb as the wings basically so let's uh get eat and chat and before that i do have to sauce things up a bit and get a get a uh get a thumbnail so let me do that so this is a ranch so i got this in like a salad kit it's a technically a barbecue ranch salad so it came with a ranch packet as you can see here that i'm shittily administering to the salad. I'm out of ranch, uh, my own ranch, Hidden Valley. So I will be having to use the barbecue sauce to get us the distance, although I don't really love the idea of barbecue sauce on a salad. But you know what? Why not? Let's just take it there. Let's just see what happens. Let, let, let's just trust the brand. Also for these wings. I got this creamy garlic parmesan wing sauce. Well, I shouldn't say wings because they are from the thigh. Ooh, she thick. I did not expect it to be that thick. Like literally won't come out type thick. It's like the old Heinz ketchup bottles. Got the Frank's Red Hot. Of course we got a, I'm hitting a little dash, a little drizzle. All right, we're almost all prepped and ready, however, for some reason, I did want a pickle or two with my chicken. Let's get a big Bombay boy though. Peter North has entered the chat. Okay, you guys, this meal is actually looking bangerang to me. If if you don't uh, if you don't mind my saying. And lastly, we squeeze on some lemon to all you who have ever said. You lost me at the lemon. I lost you at the lemon. Lemon on chicken. Crucial. Quintessential. Okay. Some creamy gargar -gar parmesan. Huh? why that wasn't really working there it's a bone mm -hmm. I know some of you guys are sometimes stressed out by my, my little sauce slurps but like I don't know how to help it like when it's hot and I feel like the sauce is going everywhere, I need to like vacuum it in. Sorry. Okay, let's get into the Sally. 
Sally Field. I love a good salad. I know I already stressed that, but okay. We're going to talk about my belief in God. And in order to do that properly, I'm going to have to give you the rundown from being a child till now and how it's all come to be, how it's you know, how I've ended up where I'm at. So, I was born into a non-religious family. I never went to church, never really heard about God, parents didn't talk about God. Didn't talk about religion, didn't talk about the Bible, none of that. I was just a free, free little guy being able to think what I wanted to think. Now, I'm super happy that it went down that way because life has been left open to my own interpretation with nobody close to me in my formative years you know essentially programming me to think a certain way because that's the one thing I've learned about life is especially when you're young we get told things and we believe them at face value just to be true like we just take them and They become our narrative and our reality. So I'm really glad that my mind wasn't perverted at a young age in relativity to re religion and God. However, hit him with this. From a young age, from about four years old, I can remember laying in my bed thinking where did I come from why am I here who created all this where will go where what will happen when I die at four years old I was already thinking about those crazy ass questions. So I remember laying in bed. M my most vivid memory is more like thinking about death and thinking it was going to be all eternal blackness. I used to say to myself, I like kind of cry. And get scared in the like by myself in bed, being like, "I'm never, ever, 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 ever coming back." You should trip me right out. Still does, because I don't really know what's gonna happen, right? N none of us do. And that's kind of the principle that I basically live my life by is that I uh, I only truly can believe in what I experience and witness myself and so I know what I see and I see what I know like can't believe in something if I've never witnessed it occur with my own two eyes because otherwise everything else is just you know mystery mystical faith-based 
hope, like praying on, on a hope, on a faith, on a, that there is something. So all the way up through my teens as, a, as like a, you know, young kid through my teens, I've always been kind of like atheist. I used to have arguments with my friends who believe in God. You know, just being like, they're so sure of it, right? And I'm like, how do you know? And they're like, well, I just know. I just believe, I have faith. And that's cool. Faith is a good thing. Faith keeps you like in a good forward moving headspace. You know, just believing that something greater than you's got your back and your best interest at heart and life is like worth it. And you know, I've smoked weed, I've done mushrooms, I've done MDMA. And none of that ever brought me really any closer to like a, what felt like a God, like a God or source energy or anything like that. So been skeptical for a long time, but I want to say in the last five or so years, I, I want to say like at this point I've been kind of opened up to just looking around and going inside myself and feeling certain things and certain instances and things happening and like almost like divine interventions and able to tell that there's something greater at work. Now, one of those things is like just looking around at the world, just looking at the human body, how perfect everything is how perfectly designed everything is like just how insanely incredible nature is all these things it just there has to be it has to have came from somewhere so right there's that it had to have been created from somewhere and I suppose that creator is God, but then that always begs the question, and this is what messes with human's head and my head the most. It's like, if we have a creator and they exist, then where did they come from? It's like a Russian nesting doll of creationism. It's like, how do you ever come to a start point? Because how do you get all this from nothing? That's what our our brain can't wrap around. That's why I have trouble with God. Because I just don't see how and my God is not like a physical being. My God, if there is one kind of thing, is like a an energy field. A fifth dimension or even crazier than that dimensional like f 
field of vibration creating all of this because 3d reality is really just vibrating energy and the craziest thing about it is like it doesn't if you're not here if you were not here to witness it then technically it doesn't nothing exists because you're not here to witness it so there's that thought too but what i'll say is over these last years I got deep into Terrence McKenna. I got deep into Alan Watts. I got deep into Abraham Hicks. I've listened to all their teachings and things like that. And, you know, delved into the world of spiritualism. Which spiritualism, I think, is pretty fairly new, to be honest. But with the advancement of the testing of, of like the psychonauts in the world, like the people have done LSD and all these drugs and DMT and basically astral projected or astral travel, they're transcended their ego and you know the normal normal parameters and functions of the human brain and gone to that like fifth dimensional realm that basically exists inside of us the pineal gland which which they say the pineal gland is like the doorway to the infinite to to where we come from <laughs> to where we operate from and that there are interdimensional different existential types of beings and energies as well that are around us and watching over us and stuff like so heaven and like you know angels and aliens and things like that so they also say that the soul weighs 21 grams they've done a study where when people at the moment that people pass away the body loses 21 grams of weight and they say that the soul is 21 grams there's proof that when you pass your soul exits back through that tether and that tether is something that I believe now because that's what I've felt and that's where I'm kind of coming to with this um, saying like as of lately in my life I've felt that tethered connection to my higher self to like a higher I've always had okay so I've always had the, the issue is like are we biological computers that just our brains just switch on like we're just material matter. And we have brains and our brains create consciousness and think. And then when we die, that all shuts off and we're done. Or are we a biological material matter that our brains are an antenna for, for frequency, for vibration, for vibrational frequencies. And we're, consciousness is being channeled through from another dimension basically and we're, our higher selves are actually out there so like in the matrix like when you're plugged into the matrix like neo is actually in the chair but you plug in and you tether out and then you're in this you're in the game so i literally because i've had so many moments through anxiety and stuff and even on some drugs where i've felt completely detached from my human body like i felt completely like back here and up here like 
I felt kind of like more closer to my higher self, like out of body experience, I should say. And a few years ago, I realized like I had that awakening, knowing that I'm not just my body. Like, I am something else occupying a body. And it's a scary, terrifying feeling because it's really weird. Because you go through your whole life being told, like, this is your name. This is your parents. This is who you are. This is what you, you're, sh- you're going to do. This is what you're going to be. You're just being program, 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 program. This is how tall you are. This is what your teeth look like. And so you believe the character. Like you're being given an avatar. You're being given a character. So you like believe that you're just this human. And that's your name. And tra la 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 You're just going to tra la la through life. Being a human and die. But somewhere along the way. I had a uh, like a spiritual awakening and an ego death and a disconnection from my body and self and I felt completely like oh I get it I'm just occupying this meat vessel and I'm here for some reason or another they say people say you have a soul contract and before you came here you like you have a soul contract like it's like decided when you're going to go back but you're coming here to learn whatever lesson is that you're supposed to learn and they say that we come here time and time again in spiritualism and so i don't know about that but i will say this i do believe that we all come here with the passions and purposes and the things that are innate and inherent that guide us and that's our higher self our higher tethered self speaking to ourself when you have depression and anxiety or you're doing a job that you hate or it's like you always know what you want and some people would come down here with extreme passion to be a neurochemist some people come down here with extreme passion for food some people come down here to do music and art some people come down here to look after dogs like but we all have a couple things inside of us that just light us on fire and make us feel like goosebumps like I'm getting goosebumps right now just talking about it I'm like emotional But, like, we all have these inner guiding compasses and and forces that we know what we want to be happy, to live in that state of, of joy most of the day, you know? Which is screwed up about the system that we live in is that most of us don't do that and we can't do it just due to the circumstance. And it's really hard to break out of but the best way of breaking out of it is to listen to your higher self go within find that guy that intuition and go chase the things that you absolutely love like relentlessly because when you do that when you're in tune with your higher vibration and you're being true, that's why I say stay true, when you're being true to yourself and doing the things that you were sent here to do, then that's when the universe and and the law of attraction, they're all going to align. And when you're in alignment with your truth, that's why they say like the chakras and everything. You're, and when you're in your alignment with your truth, with your higher self, with what you're supposed to be doing, that's when the universe will will respond to you and give you your blessings. 
You can't have your blessings if you're not in alignment with who you are. With your truth, with what you're supposed to be doing, with your with your purpose here. I do believe we all have a purpose. Because we all know inside of ourselves these things that we feel so passionately guided to, pulled to. But most of us won't take the risk. Or put in the work. Because it is going to take work. A lot of hard work. And patience. So, in summary, I do believe in a post life existent energy field. Um, you know, metaphysical, whatever you want to call it, type realm where it's just energies. And this is like 3D land. This is like The Sims, right? We're like, we're in The Sims, but we do come from somewhere else. And when we pass, I think we return back and then kind of that's like the judgment. It's like, did you learn your lesson? Did you go live your truth? Did you experience the what you were supposed to or did you run away from your, your guide, your spiritual inner compass. Did you run from that or did you go fulfill what you were supposed to? And that's like the judgment of God. All right? I don't think you're going to be like cast to hell or anything, but That's another thing that's hard to say, though, because if there is God and there's this whole thing about God and the devil, the one thing I've also learned about life is duality. Duality is very real. One, zero, binary code. Penis, vagina. Male, female. Um, light and dark. Sun, moon. Birth, death. It's all a reflection of each other. So if there is like this God thing, then maybe there is a devil. Like maybe there is like that devil energy too as well because life is so dualistic. Daytime, nighttime. It's all one and zero. It's all binary, That's right? It's all code like... So I do a lot of times feel like I'm just living in the Sims, which is kind of freaky. Like it freaks me out sometimes. It scares me to think that. I don't know why. But at the same time, it should comfort me because that does mean that I'm kind of like projecting from somewhere else. So that when I do leave this place, it'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. What? Oh, I'm, I'm like I'm back home. Like when you die, you're like going back home, and this place is like the testing ground for when you get back home. And they're like, you didn't do it. You didn't learn. You can't transcend to the next realm or whatever. So. I want to say yes, I do believe in God, but not like the way that we've created him as a lightning bolt man in the sky, you know? All right, that was a long-winded, deep video, and I really hope you stayed to the end because I feel like it was, it felt good to me, so I hope like it captivated you for that length of time. Uh, also, this meal was the perfect meal to talk with that because... It took like, it was just nibbles and bits and salad. Like it took a while. Like it wasn't a quick sandwich. You know what I mean? So it was perfect. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I can't wait to do more topic videos because this was really fun for me. Until the next one though, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. Stay true.
to you. Okay, peace.